It's our privilege today to begin with a baby dedication. I'm going to ask Mark and Cora and their family if they join me here in the front. In our church, we dedicate babies to the Lord. You might say, why do you do that? Well, Jesus was dedicated at the temple by his parents, and then later, at the age of 30, he was baptized. Our church won't make you wait until you're 30 to be baptized, but we do ask for you to make a profession of faith in Christ. However, parents want their children to grow up for the Lord, and by stepping out in public and saying we are publicly acknowledging that we want to raise these children for Christ, they are putting themselves on the line in that way, but they're also asking the church to be involved in the upbringing of their child for Christ. And so we come to the scriptures, Matthew chapter 18. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Today, Mark and Cora have come to dedicate their little girl, Lucia, to the Lord. There's this simple charge to them and their family. Believing that this child is a gift from God, and that he shall hold you accountable for her. Do you now dedicate her to the Lord and to his service? Will you pray with her and for her, instruct her in the faith, teach her to read the word of God, to pray, to lead a holy life, take her faithfully to church, and do all that you can to bring her to the knowledge of Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord? If so, respond by saying, we will. And I like that enthusiasm, Mark. That's what the Lord's looking for. I asked them if they would bring a visual reminder of this day that they could point it out to Lucia when she's getting out of hand to say, listen, you don't belong to yourself. You belong to the Lord. And I see you have something in your hand, a Bible. Well, you can't do much better than that. Yes, excellent. All right, we want to say a word about Lucia. Lucia Grace Tobby. Your name means light. May John 3.21 be your life verse. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. We're going to have a formal word of dedication and then a personal word. Dan Bailey, would you come in a moment and be ready to pray? Join us in these two prayers. Lucia, I now dedicate you to God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. May your young life be nurtured and matured under the influence of the Holy Spirit. May God early call you into his kingdom and into his service, using you to advance his glory and hasten the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dan? Would you pray with me? O oh Lord, you are the God who neither slumbers nor sleeps but watches over all those you have made. We ask you to watch over baby Lucia. Be the shade at her right hand so that the sun will not harm her by day nor the moon by night. We pray, Lord, that you would protect her from all harm and carry her close to your heart all the days of her life. Lord, you are also a great warrior, mighty to save. We pray that at a young age, little Lucia would be captivated by your son, Jesus Christ and the great story of your love displayed on the cross. We pray that she would trust in you and delight in you, even as you delight in her and rejoice over her with singing. And Father, you are the God who gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. We pray that as Lucia grows in you, you would renew her strength 
and fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit, that wherever she goes and whatever she does, your glorious presence and tender love would be made manifest through her life. Finally, Lord, you are our good shepherd and God of all wisdom. We ask that you would generously pour out your wisdom and nurturing heart on Mark and Cora, her parents. Give them great skill and sensitivity as they shepherds, shepherd Lucia's heart and raise her to love and honor you with all of her being. Grow them as a family, grounded and established in your love, and persevering in righteousness, no matter what trials of life come their way. Lord, we thank you so much for your faithfulness, that you hear and answer our prayers, and for the opportunity to dedicate little Lucia to you today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We have this simple certificate to present to you. Hold on to it because the government considers this a true form of identification, like unto a birth certificate. You may want to keep it in her baby book. Congratulations, Mark and Cora. Our proper response is to cheer them on. <laughs> <laughs>